Hello, this is Robert Rodriguez, director of Alita Battle Angel, and I'm here with Rosa Salazar, Alita herself, and we're in the HBO screening room. We're going to watch a clip from Alita, which is a movie set 600 years in the future about a cyborg girl that wakes up, no memory of who she is, but goes to find that she actually possesses great power. The ship is from the Battle of Zalem. Salvagers have jacked some stuff over the years for metal, but it's mostly been left alone. But it's pretty hard to sell this stuff since no one knows what it is. Or... We have to go to the command deck. It's forward. How does she know that? Hey, we, we can't get there. It's underwater. How long do you think she can hold her breath? I don't know. This scene was actually our first day on set. Yeah. I, I look at it with so much pride at what we accomplished there. This is the moment where she arrives, and this is the last step to deciding the woman that she wants to be. I've known James Cameron for about 25 years, and he told me about, you know, that he would probably never get around to Battle Angel, and I asked to read it, and, and that's how we started the journey. It was a chance for him to see the movie that he had always wanted to make, and I really wanted to see the lost Jim Cameron picture, so. I really jumped on board. Last night when we saw the movie, I was sitting next to, to Jim <laughs> in the theater and I got the Jim Cameron commentary that I didn't know I needed. <laughs> During the scene that you just played, she drops down into the water. He goes, girlfriend, don't float. <laughs> He's always been that kind of funny, He's very uh, funny. comforting, supportive yeah. presence for me. Jim's science fiction and fantasy is always really grounded in reality. So I knew that I, I shouldn't shoot green screen. They would actually should shoot on real locations, real sets, so that they could just act and like normally on a normal set. The actors kind of forget the costumes they're wearing, you know, when they're really got that kind of environment. We've somehow managed to capture my essence. This body, I feel a connection to it. This could be who I am. It's a very timeless story. Those themes are always relevant. They're in a dystopian city. Everyone wants to escape. Until they meet her, she changes everyone that she meets because of her point of view, how she sees the world. Not how it is, but how it can be. I think that's the most important point. Yes, this is a movie where young women will be inspired, but more so than that, you know, as a young moviegoer, there were many male protagonists that I related to. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I just think that now we have a strong, relatable female protagonist that young boys can also identify with. It's all about having an array of perspective. You made the biggest mistake of your life. And what's that? Underestimating who I am. Thank you for joining us in the HBO screening room.